Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can add bulk user in your M365 security group using Power Automate. As you can see, I have created this LT security group in my M365. If you don't know already how to create a security group, either you can create it from your intro ID admin center or M365 admin center, or you can simply go to my account or Microsoft.com, go to my groups here, there is options to create security group or M365 group. You can create a security group from here, provide a name, description, choose a policy that uh, suits to you. I have opted for only the owner of this group and admin can add members. Once done, click next, a security group will be created for you. I have already created a security group. So I'll go group I own, look for my security group. As you can see, there is uh, no member in the security group and I'm the owner of this security group. In order to add user through Power Automate in the security group, you should be the owner of the group as we have opted in the policy. And the second part is I have created an Excel file where I've listed all the user's email and the column name is users. I've formatted this as a table because this is required while we access this Excel file. I have uploaded this Excel file inside my SharePoint document library of communication site and I'll access in my Power Automate. Now I'll go to my Power Automate. I'll try to create an instant cloud flow. I'll name it add and remove users from security group. Trigger will be manual. You can Choose any trigger that you want. I'll choose old designer. I will initialize a variable and I will name it uh, user email type string. Next option is I'm going to choose Excel online for business that is list row present in table. I'll select my SharePoint site. That is my communication site. So I'll just search for this communication site and document library I have is documents. File name is the security group users dot XL six and table is table one. This is mandatory. That's why we have created formatted that Excel as in table. So once this is done, next step what I can do is I can uh, just set the variable value. So I'm going to say set variable. I'm going to set user email variable and what value I'm going to provide on this is the list row present an Excel users column value. So once this is done, it's automatically put this inside apply to each and next step what we're going to do is now we have each user email here so we're going to search for groups that is this office 365 groups and we can select add member to group so once this is done it is asking for group id so the option is either you go to your groups in the address bar this is what your group id is you can copy it from here you can directly go here and enter custom value, you can paste it here or you can search for your group name. So if I see here, I can find the LT security group already and the user principal name is your user email. So that we have already captured in this variable. So here we'll put the variable user email and we'll save the flow. Once the flow is saved, we'll go and just test this start it this 14 items as you can see 14 user has been added to this group and the flow is completed 
So oh, that's pretty simple. You can add these user in your security group. Now the point is if you want to remove these uh, user from security group, what you have to do. So instead of this uh, add, you have to just uh, choose remove user because the username is same. So if you know who all are the user you have list, you can just uh, remove those users from the security groups as well. So what I'm gonna do is remove member from groups group name is again LT security group and user principal name is similar R user email save test flow manually and that's all our flow is running we'll wait uh, it to complete refresh your group see almost uh, all the user now should be deleted from this members that's all and one thing to notice that it uh, doesn't do anything to owner it's only working in the members because we are adding and removing from from the member of the groups not from the owner of the groups so that's how you can add and remove user from security group and the security group are same across your intro id m365 admin center and your my account.microsoft.com so it's all linked wherever you create it is automatically synced to all these three places and you can use the security group to provide permissions to sharepoint site as well as your power apps rather than adding users directly to them so i'll cover that part in my next video i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching